Howdy, me Flint Bart here, and welcome. Yes, an Unreal Engine 4 video. Oh no. Yes, yes, I've been taking a break, and I have to say also, not very easy today, because while working on a new knife, uh, I decided that uh, a good way to test it is to just about chop off your damn finger. So, yeah. So, fireworks. Okay, I don't have all the sounds working just yet, but I need to add a rocket sound in, and it would make it just a little bit, maybe much more better. So, we've got um, a couple fireworks launchers. They pop and make a little bit of noise. It's awesome, right? Okay, what it is and what it'd be like. First off, go to your launcher, go to the marketplace, go to free, permanently free collection, let this load, and there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Um, those are not bad. Uh, da -da -da -da. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Free animation is always a good thing. Animals always a good thing. But scroll on down and then go to the next page. And right here, Fireworks Particle Effects. Absolutely free. Just add it to cart and do check out. It won't ask for any billing. So, bang, there you go. Free Fireworks Particle Effects. All right, so what I did do to this was I made a few changes. And when you first create a project with this, and I won't be able to do that because I've already created a project, and I'm not going to go back and create another one, so deal with it. Um, yeah, we go into your blueprints folder for the TS Fireworks and in the launcher. You're going to have a problem with this, more than likely. Now, I am in 4.22. Uh, yes, I finally did upgrade. I still have 4.20 installed, but whenever I try to run it for the first time in 4.22, this gave me an error, and all you have to do is right-click anywhere in here and refresh nodes and it will clear up the bad node. If it doesn't, then just manually delete it by right-clicking on it and delete it. So, that is in the launch the shell portion of the blueprint. The next part is right here. This whole part was not connected to anything, so I just connected these two nodes together for the auto-launch logic and set up auto-launch timer. So, from set timer function by name, I connected that to there, and that's all I did. Just compile, save, and close that. And then I also came in. I found a sound file that I liked online for the sound of the uh, firework popping and making the, the the sparkly noises. So what I did was came down and looking in here into the blueprint, right toward the top you'll find explode a burst charge and you're gonna have two here and one of them is going to be explode shape or shaped burst the other one is explode standard burst okay now what I did was I added a play sound at location now technically you could have probably gone ahead and set up a um, uh, a different way instead of running the sound file you could always just right click on this and create a sound cue but this works just as good and then I created a random float in range node times 2 at 0.6 to 1 and you could change this as well I'll change this to 1.2 on both of these and what this is going to do is when I replace this sound and whenever the, the firework actually burst and, you know, I don't have the camera turned on right now. Um, let's actually turn the camera on for just a moment. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, my middle finger is the one that I, I cut pretty bad. So. so as I'm sitting here pointing at the screen, I'm using my middle finger. I'm not going to turn on the camera just so I can flip you off. But anyway, um, I created a play sound at location and connected a random float in range to the volume and pitch multipliers. And what that's going to do is it's going to either be a little bit softer, or a little bit louder, 
or a little bit higher pitch or a little bit lower pitch and it's just going to be randomized between these two floats here and that's all that I did and the next thing you do is go into your blueprints folder again and you've got let's see I've got three of them out here already you've got uh, the fireworks launcher and I'll grab one here and I'll throw it into the map as you can see I've got the one on the far right and the far left are angled just a little bit so it spreads them out a little bit more uh, doesn't really matter which direction it's facing you're not going to see the word fireworks um, so you don't have to worry about that and I'll walk around so you can see that as well once in game again now once you've got it placed scroll down and select auto launch and that will begin playing right there from the start so let's save all, save selected, and play. Nice and pretty, nice and simple, nice and easy. And as you can see, you don't see the actual launcher itself. If you want to create an object to, to actually be the launcher, you could. I didn't, but you know, that's entirely up to you. Now, I said the one on the far right and the far left I angled a little bit and you could do that as well and just click on it and go over here and angle it back this way we just do it by 10 degrees that should be good enough so it kind of spreads out the pattern of the, of the fireworks going up in the air we still need to find another sound file for the rockets going up in the air I figured it would be too much going on at one time. We'll probably have that one as a sound cue, or, yeah, sound cue, with an attenuation radius. You're going to hear fireworks going off from a pretty good distance. So, depending on how big your map is, is whether or not you're going to need a uh, sound attenuation or not. But for this little tiny map here, I didn't figure on using it. If you wanted to create a sound attenuation, then... I created a new folder here called Sounds. You just right click, go to Sounds, go to uh, Sound Attenuation, and call it whatever you want. And your inner radius, you can set it to 800 by 5500, whatever you want for the radius of your sound, the minimum and maximum radius. And if you want to attach that in there, where your sound attenuation is, you can now actually attach that in here, and you're good to go. I know, I did that kind of fast. But it's still going to be off of the 000 location, because we didn't tell it a uh, location for it to play the sound from. So, that's fireworks. Good sound. And particle effects and free uh, the sound that I actually downloaded from one of the, the free sound websites I can make that available if anybody needs it just let me know in discord and I'll drop a copy of it to you it is a wave file 16-bit wave file so that it will play nice and easy you just drag it and drop into your project I guess technically speaking, if you wanted to add in this sound file, the actual launcher itself, you go to the blueprints folder and fireworks launcher. Now, I would imagine you would just go to the launch shell, launch the shell, and add inside here uh, your other sound file for it to launch the shell up into the air. Add the sound file in right there if you wanted one. Uh, if you don't, you don't have to do anything else, but if you wanted to add it in, I would add it in right here. And all you do is just drag in and play sound at location, and there you go. And what I would probably end up doing for the location is I would get a reference to self or, you know, whatever from here, like root sphere, and get world location and that will be the location for the sound of it actually going up into the air and I would attach it to that. Um, if you want me to do another video on doing this let me know and 
I will do another video on it, but this should get you going with a firework. It's absolutely free of charge. Sound follows free online, and the particle effects were free online. And it was very simple to put together. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. Ten minute video. How about that? A video that didn't last an hour? Holy crap. Yep, a 10 minute video. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and if you like it, let me know on Discord. But leave a thumbs up. You know, you guys can do the thumbs up a bit more often here. And, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Thanks, and we will see you later.